Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 33. Okay, the previous episode, um, we asked, like, you know, we kind of got through to Anna. You talked with her and she kind of uh, was able to open her heart to him a little bit. And, you know, like uh, the first portion was basically them kind of talking with each other and uh are you asking her to go to the um new year's visit i think it was yeah the new year's visit uh to the shrine and pray to the god you know like stuff like that so <clears throat> anna obviously was not comfortable with that because she knows that in the new years obviously people will be with so many wishes so many selfish wishes as well which will kind of like you know bother her a lot and demons might come out so she was not happy with that but she still went with him unfortunately yo kind of miscalculated the whole thing at what um you know like uh what do you call it at what intensity the demons will come out and a huge demon materialized which is so strong that it can talk and it wears clothes <laughs> so yeah that's what happened and the demon has its own intelligence he tried to um you know uh, make anna more depressed so that she gets more negative thoughts that's how like you know he wants to get more power stuff like that matamune is trying to stop him but unfortunately his furyoku is almost losing out and here we get a little backstory or little flashback and we get to know how matamune is still able to live here even though um, uh, Asakura Yo is not here. Um, he is uh, living off of the excess Furyoku that uh, Asakura Yo gave it to him when he was alive. So that's how she is still alive. But this time, if he uses it, he'll be gone. So he knows that his time is almost up. And obviously the demon, he takes, grabs Anna and he is heading for Osorezan where the spirits gather and he wants more power more like you know uh negativity all that stuff because he wants to uh i don't know like do bad stuff <laughs> so yeah that's how it ended and uh in the end uh, a, a character came i think his name was guchan and he brought out a car <laughs> so we're heading for osorazan let's see what happens so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number 33 of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go damn Well, yeah. So he doesn't know the full. You know what's happening. Damn. Gumakura. Osarazan Lava Part 4. Is this the final part? I think so. Of this arc, oh, yeah, he cannot see him. I forgot that for a minute. Oh, w why? Oh, okay, that's why. all right and he's strong and so I'm, I'm guessing anna needs to do something um yo wishful then. Wow. 
What? Okay. Oh no, whoa, what the? Damn, he cannot see the demons and imagine. Um. I can't, he, he talks like, <laughs> he talks like Joseph. Does he have a mustache? What the hell? He has a mustache! Oh yeah, his dress changed! Oh my god, so she's somewhere over here. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah. Just like, just like, um, um, uh, uh, how? Yeah, just like how, oh my god. Yeah. Uh. Oh boy. God damn. This thing. Oh my god, no. This is when it's happening. Whoa! You can't see the aura? Are you blind? Yo, what the? <laughs> well, there you go. You need a new hand. Oh, so he merged with him. Okay. So is he still in him? Like, I'm talking about the present. Oh god, the demon offense. Okay. That's why Yo, yo, um, yo has to do it. Mm. 
Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Inability to have faith in others. Wow. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, so how will he bring him back? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Wow. Oh, Oni, that's his, what type of a pun is that? Oh, Oni, when O means big, oh, Oni, like oh, Oni, the way he says, oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh, my God, he. F Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's why. As Master Mune said, faith.
but she also needs to have faith you know what is with it oh my god his i really can't take this this demon seriously like what the Well, well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Your mama abandoned you. Boo hoo. <laughs> what? Well, she. I don't Anna can just have faith again and he'll disappear like Whoa Wait what the oh <sighs> Three days. Damn, he became skinnier. Oh, okay, yeah, he can use that to bring him back. I was thinking, how was he going to bring him back? Oh wow. Damn. I wonder how much fuel could this demon was, you know, this demon, the bigger one. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, Guchan is here. <laughs> or so it seemed. What? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think Oh, oh really? Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. True.
Is that a letter? I think it's a letter for, from Anna or something. Oh, wait, what? Wait, she's here? <laughs> wait, did, did the grandma know? Oh my god, the third slap. <laughs> yeah, did the grandma know? Whoa, that was quick. Okay. <laughs> oh okay that okay i was thinking like is she going with him <laughs> well, she was embarrassed me in front of grandma. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. Five. Five. Oh, okay, that Mr. How what? Why was it written how? Three points, okay. Is this Anna? I think I think someone told me in the comments that Anna's going to sing it. Sing the song. Yeah, this is Anna, most probably. Wow.
माता मुने माता ताबी देवा माता राइट ओ बॉय राइट दैट वाज गुड ओके आम God. Okay. Um. This episode. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right. Um. This episode. Uh. This was the final part of uh this arc. Um. I have to say I loved this arc. This was probably the best arc. Um. <clears throat> the best arc that uh. In Shaman King up until now. This is the third third episode. Yeah. So I love this. This was. This was fantastic, and I was kind of had a good feeling about um. I can I was sure that obviously, like in every anime, there is definitely going to be like a backstory of the characters. So Anna being the main one of the main characters, like I was pretty much sure that we we're going to get her backstory eventually. And I have to say, I always had like a good feeling about this because Anna herself is such a well written and such a great character. So I was kind of uh, sure that yeah, her backstory would be pretty good, and here I am, not disappointed. And it was fantastic, and I have, <coughs> I'm happy to say that <coughs> this is the best arc for for up up until now in Shaman King, and yeah, this is this was fantastic. Okay, this episode, um, the final part of this arc, mm, we. we do we get to the final confrontation with the demon now <clears throat> now here's the thing um like i don't know what's up with the demon but i feel like they they kind of made him into like a overly um like you know <laughs> overly like a funny character in a way like the things that he was saying were pretty disgusting you know the things that he was saying and the way he expressed everything he was like oh like i Like, you know, I used her to get all the, uh, what was that? Um, to gather all the spirits, and after that, she kind of became crazy and started wandering around, and you know, these type of things, that these type of comments that he was kind of doing, were pretty disgusting and pretty bad, and yeah, that was true. But other than that, I feel like the demon was like, you know, weird. like they they try to put like a weird comedy type of thing into him like you know like the way he was talking and everything he has the, the like this weird mustache and he was like oh no like oh. <laughs> and his name as well in in the little transition scene where we see the name cards his name was o oni like that's like a <laughs> this that's a pun basically like o oni o means big and oni which if you kind of translate it into english like literal in the literal sense o oni is o h oni and the way he kind of says oh no kind of i guess mixes with that so that's like a weird pun that they made with his name and i don't know the the, the things that he was kind of doing was <laughs> weirdly hilarious i have to say like <laughs> i don't know what to <laughs> what to say about this uh, demon but it's kind of <laughs> i don't know whether to laugh whether to feel angry whether to feel sad but yeah like this this thing was weirdly hilarious but at the same time infuriating so yeah that was basically this demon so uh, yeah anyways enough about the demon um okay so we go to osorezan at the, at first and <clears throat> as uh, you know he um explained that uh, anna suryaku never run uh, ran out so when he got completely full he like let her wander away somewhere and anna kind of became started resembling um how in a way where she became this kind of a person whose heart was completely broken it was kind of clouded by negativity and she was just like you know violently thrashing around like moving like a mad person here and there and cursing the world 
So <clears throat> this, as Madhavune said, this happened to Hao as well. And for Hao, it was basically because he, like, you know, took in all the evils, uh, all the negative thoughts of uh, the characters who were be beside him, you know. And as, like, you know, that time was uh, filled with war and it was not peace time, this affected him even more. So him transforming into someone like that was the reason behind that was these type of things these type of negative things he and also the time you know it was not war peace time it was war time uh in especially in those days uh, older days but here uh anna's reason for um trans kind of becoming like how was uh because this de demon this demon kind of uh deliberately tried to make her someone like that and planted all the negative feelings into her single-handedly so it's a little bit different uh, but at the same time it's kind of the same the result is the same Anna also kind of became someone like how for a moment there but as Matamune said it's a little bit different at, at the same time uh, for how there was no one with him even Matamune did not have the faith in him so in a way he was kind of abandoned by everyone while this time um matamune has had you know like made a promise that yeah he will help anna and at the same time um yo was also here with her who also had made a promise to save her from this mess so that's how it this 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 thing was a little bit different so yeah and that's how we kind of got a happy ending in this this time at least so <clears throat> Yeah, at the beginning, Anna was kind of um, thrashing around and he was, she was kind of saying like, uh, uh, talking to the demon, saying that destroy everything, all that. And Matamune became uh, you know, the, the sword, he went into the oversoul state while using the remaining Furyoku that was left in the beads, the prayer beads. And he already talked about it with Yo, so Yo knew what was happening. And Yo was kind of ready for it, but at the same time he was not. And <clears throat> now here's the thing. Uh, he does say that like after you become someone like how, you can help me again, get a body. So I was kind of wondering how was he going to do that because as uh, Matamune said he was going to disappear so how like it'll obviously take quite a lot of time for uh, you to become a shaman uh, a shaman king so how will he bring Matamune back after that like he's going to disappear but then they kind of explained it in a way I guess they said that the the beads the prayer beads are still there so I'm guessing he will be able to use that to Bring him back after he becomes the shaman king i think well yeah because basically like you know shaman king i guess is will be like this omnipotent being so i'm guessing bringing uh, matamune back won't be that much of a big task for at least for the shaman king so yeah probably we're going to see that um that will probably be almost at the end of this anime you know when i don't even know how, like how this anime will end will he become the shaman king or not I don't even know that if if he becomes a shaman king by the end of this anime um hopefully we'll get to see matamune again you know at the ending few episodes so yeah like now i'm thinking like this is the 33rd episode like how is he going to be able to become the shaman king by the end well i guess we're in the middle of the tournament so yeah it's kind of possible so anyways like i won't think much about it we're eventually going to see what's going to happen so yeah all right um okay so where was that thing um the thing that matamune said that was like a really great um line okay uh <clears throat> when uh matamune was talking with you in the car 
Okay, here it is. Um, Matamune says, always let your heart choose your path, yo. Yeah. Um, I told you that the day uh, we arrived in our Modi, you mustn't let anyone. Just a sec. Uh... Okay, the translation is a little bit modified here which kind of does not explain what actually um explain pop properly what uh, matamune is saying but as far as i could understand from like in the subtitles it's saying here uh, said here you mustn't let anything destroy your faith which is a pretty simple way of explaining what matamune is saying but what matamune is actually saying is as far as i can understand from uh, the japanese that he's saying is He's saying something like um uh you should not focus on something that you can see with your eyes but you should feel something and decide for yourself that is called faith i think that's what he's saying like as i said basically what he says is kind of a simplified version in the subtitles but there is a little bit more to it that he adds he adds that what you're seeing is not faith what you're believing is faith and you should always use your heart to do something like don't be deceived by your eyes or something like that he's saying i think which which is a pretty like it's not big of a modification in the subtitles but i feel like the way um matamune explains it is a lot more beautiful like i feel like a lot of things in this episode went com became completely lost in translation i feel like it you know because uh, as I was, as I said, I can kind of understand Japanese because obviously I've been <laughs> watching anime for quite a while. So, like you know, like obviously the subtitles and is a very simplified version of what uh, Matamune is saying. And by the way I'm kind of hearing and listening to it, I can understand the way Matamune is explaining everything is a very in a very beautiful way, which unfortunately the subtitle is unable to properly translate because you know like things get lost in translations. You cannot do anything about that, especially in in subs and dubs. You know, so like you can't do anything about it here. So yeah, I can kind of understand, but I feel like Matamune's sayings are way more beautiful than the subtitles can portray and like yeah damn like i was I, I was really listening to him i was like damn like the way he speaks and the way he explains everything is so beautiful okay um uh, you always saying faith okay okay long ago there was a man i wanted to protect but one day i've lost faith in him for a thousand years it's haunted me okay these are kind of okay the subtitles pretty much portray what he's saying the dark side of human history repeats itself even now okay people become embroiled in wars people who bear the weight of regret and countless other worldly cares And the cause of all this sorrow is their inability to have faith in others. Okay, this is this is also accurate. The subtitles. You may have been betrayed. Okay, um part is a bit difficult. Uh Okay, let me uh, read the subtitles first. You may have been betrayed, but you have the, if you have the faith, okay, uh, you will never take the first step on the road to hostility. The path of, path of happiness is path of faith. Okay, um, okay the, the thing that he's saying here is, how many times you may have been betrayed? As long as you believe and you don't take the step towards hostility, okay, it's also the same. If you don't, um, what do you call it? Uh, 
suspect no um if you keep believing yeah if you keep believing in the good uh, something like that you will be able to like you know uh, walk the path of uh, happiness which is the path of faith that faith is the true essence of love okay yeah these are these are qu quite okay like you know the, but that that one uh, line i felt it was like matamuni kind of said it a lot more beautifully my question was not whether my master was right or wrong i lost faith in him because of the okay because of the darkness of my soul yeah he's saying yeah yeah okay that that yeah that's what he's saying as well okay so he's saying basically that it's not like you know the fault does not lie with the ones that are affected the fault kind of the fault lies with the one who stops believing and that in itself is the darkness of person a person's heart which is one of the best i have to say one of the best course in shaman king i i have to say this because this this thing that matamune says is that keep believing in someone even if they are like you know walking the wrong path keep believing and keep trying to help them uh, if you stop believing in them and if you lose faith that in itself becomes a darkness in your heart and you won't be able to save that person and that that in itself is like a bad thing which which pretty much i have to say like it is it's it's a very meaningful message like this can be applied to anything in IRL as well you know like don't like you know like just keep believing in someone who is struggling you know like in, in any any kind of thing who is struggling keep believing in him or her and like you know try to help that person if you you know uh, if you stop believing and stop trying to help them yeah like it you'll regret it eventually when you know something if something bad happens you're going to regret it which matamuni kind of says here like she stopped believing in how which in turn completely messed everything up and he understands it now that that was a uh, um the darkness that crept into his own heart he wasn't able to keep uh, belief he wasn't able to uh, have the faith in how which unfortunately you know like resulted in a very bad future so that's why he's what he was saying like like i was able to understand that when it was too late so don't forget that yo keep believing in anna otherwise you're probably going to face the same future that i am facing now so yeah and that was that was a really great portion i have to say that's that's one of the best parts of this uh, episode the way matamune explains it <clears throat> okay and then like you know the the and then with the fight resumes uh, anna versus uh, not anna sorry um the demon uh, o oni <laughs> O Oni versus um, Yo and Anna starts you know like opening her heart little by little as Yo explains everything and Yo says that yeah I, I won't leave I will you know keep trying to help you out of the this problem and <laughs> and like, you know when anna says that i have fallen f what did she say just a sec um uh, the way the way the demon kind of was like flabbergasted at anna's explanation anna is like the one who no not that sorry the, the one before that um is the love i feel for him and the demon is like what <laughs> and yo is blushing <laughs> And Anna's like, so that's why unfortunately you have to die. Um, oh, like, you know, uh, oh, demon. Or oh, oni. <laughs> the demon goes crazy. 
starts attacking, tries to attack Anna, but yeah, like Yo is there. And Matamune's, uh, you know, like the Furyoku that's still with him, he uses that to defeat the demon and he promises that he's going to bring Matamune back someday. Damn, that was that was a great, uh, you know, like the crescent, uh, the crescent uh, moon purification. Now I wonder, I'm kind of wondering this. Like this time, I'm sure, like you know, because of Matamune, uh, Yo was able to defeat this big demon. But I doubt uh, Yo's Furoku was that big. So probably because of Matamune, he was able to defeat a uh, enemy this strong. I'm wondering how much Furoku does this demon have? This, uh, you know, like, like if you can compare this demon to the enemies that we are facing currently, for example, Jian and uh, how obviously this demon is a lot weaker than how, but if I compare this demon to Jan, how much of a difference is there? If you guys know, let me know in the comment section. I, I don't even know if they, if they like, um, you know, that if the anime explained that or whatnot. Okay, anyways, um... Okay, I know that these... Just to say, the thing that Yo says here is... Wait a minute. He uses the technique and he says, um, That was the last technique Matamune did with me. And the, the last technique that he left with Yo. I know that the demons are... Wait, what? I know now that these demons were over souls. Oh, okay. As was Matamune's body. Okay, so the demons were also over souls. Oh, okay. But I didn't know that term back then. Yeah, okay, anyways. Yeah, and that trip helped him for what's going to come. Okay. And then um, the grandma picked up all the demon spikes, uh, 1080 uh, of them, and strung them together. The, um, the beads, the prayer beads were also there with him, which he's going to probably use later on to bring Matamune back after he becomes the Shaman King. And okay, um, and everything kind of ends in a happy note. And he talks with uh, Kino, he leaves. Like, and Anna obviously did not come out of her, her room for, I think, 10 days or something. And, um, like, obviously that was her way of actually coping up with the situation, which, you know, like, as Kino said, that she's going to bring back from this, uh, come back from this and going to be an even stronger person who, like, you know, a person who nothing can stop. Which we can prob like, you know, we can obviously see now, like, the present Anna is someone like that. And Kino says that she needs a little bit of time to actually become someone like that. And Anna was kind of able to become like that in this episode in itself, where as we see her coming in, inside the train, and when Yo asks that what happened, where you went you inside your room? And Anna was like, no, I, I, I've recovered. But I'm going to become even more stronger and more capable enough. <laughs> and she slaps you three more times in this train like damn like that's a record isn't it like <laughs> how much time did he she even spent with him uh i'm talking about this episode in the train probably 30 minutes like three slaps within 30 minutes like that means one slap within 10 minutes <laughs> oh god all right anyways um so yeah she kind of thanked him and <laughs> the things you were thinking you know you was you was thinking that yeah yeah like uh, like she basically did not come in front of grandma because she was embarrassed <laughs> that's why she waited for the train to arrive she got on the train <laughs> told her thanks and goodbye to you and like you know and in the next station she'll go back just because grandma was there and she was embarrassed and Yo was like yeah that's cute in itself and obviously Anna was able to realize that 
because you know like she kind of realizes what others are saying and are thinking in their heart and two slaps <laughs> god okay and okay the last scene here um the little um thing the pouch where a note was written okay um yo says during the train home i opened the envelope grandma had given me okay here's the thing it's written mr how it was a letter addressed to me is that a translation error i think so yeah i think it's probably mr yo not mr how like let me know in the comment section if this is like a translation error because yo does say over here like you know like i'm not talking about the subtitles but uh he speaks he says that it was a letter that was addressed to me he says that that means that's not a translation error that means the translation and error is probably on that little parchment where it's written mr how it must be mr yo or i don't know let me know because otherwise it doesn't make sense like why would he address yo like mr how like yeah anyways Matuan had written it before he left on New Year's Eve. His handwriting was either too fancy or too sloppy for me to read most of it. Okay, I'm kind of reading, getting, seeing this portion again because I, I wasn't able to properly concentrate that at, at that moment because, you know, like, it's kind of sad at that time. But as I sat looking at the empty seats across from me, where Matuan had, uh, okay, yeah, this part, okay. I, my eyes got teary three poems were included in the letter which after that we get the ending credit scene where i'm guessing that was anna's voice anna sings the song uh, uh the poems uh, also rezan lavoie and yeah that was beautiful okay and i don't the, the ending scene where matamuna kind of says i've served the house of asakura for a thousand years i just returned from my travels aboard to accompany your son on his journey okay i'm matamune the split tailed cat <laughs> i love this part where he she said he says that matamune matatabi which is catnip deva mata until we meet again now i don't know what this part was i am guessing this part was uh probably uh, matamune i don't know going going to um uh, i don't know the spirit world or something like meeting how again is that what was happening but how is uh, i don't know anyways I'm, I'm probably thinking too much about this but i feel like this scene is probably like you know he, he's kind of explaining that yeah i was with you in this journey and this and that and i've returned back again so i'm guessing he this is like a, his, his spirit form where he goes back to the spirit world and meets how again and that's why he's explaining everything i don't know uh, anyways I, i'm probably thinking too much but yeah anyways oh my god that was a long discussion um i should probably stop so that's it guys so that was uh, the final uh, part of um this arc which was one of the best arcs in my opinion it was fantastic and yeah that was that was so entertaining this 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 four episodes yeah the four episodes this four ep uh, big episodes of flashbacks and it's perfect i love that and i think it's it's great because this was anna's backstory yo's backstory which definitely deserved four episodes you know it definitely deserved something like that i'm glad i don't know if they rushed it i doubt they rushed it because everything felt so nice and you know um uh, me like you know normal paced so i doubt they rushed it i'm not sure I, i've not read the manga so <laughs> i won't be able to say that but yeah the pacing seemed normal to me and i'm glad that you know this was done in such a great way and i'm glad that you know this this 
this this arc happened and this is probably my favorite arc so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to shaman king episode number 33 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it guys so uh from the next episode i'm guessing we're going to resume from the shaman tournament and what's going to happen uh with the whole thing with ren and everything you know we're going to probably see that so yeah so see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king until then goodbye and have a nice day